You guys wanted a tutorial for this door, but I think I found something better. Hey, what's up my fellow twisters? Welcome back to another redstone tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at a toggleable redstone door in Minecraft Pocket Edition. So let's go ahead and get started. One thing I do want to mention is that this door is actually an adaptation of my original redstone door, which can be found in my Minecraft Pocket Edition redstone house. If you guys want to go ahead and take a look at this epic house, you could click on the annotation on your screen or in the description box down below. But anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at our toggleable door. As you can see, we have two colors over here. It's obviously red and green. The green button is going to allow us to open up the door and the door stays open, which is one thing I do want to point out. And then we could go ahead and click on the red button to close the door. So that is basically our toggleable door, guys. We could open up the door, walk across to the other side, and then come to the other side, click on the red, and then close it. So what's really cool about this is that it essentially creates a lever system without making things too complicated. Okay, so to build this, the first thing you want to do is dig out a 5x5x2 five by five by area, grab some blocks of your choice, place one down right at the middle, stack it up two blocks, place two on the other side, grab yourselves a redstone torch, place it on the face of this block, then come on over to this side, place a torch on the face of this block, grab yourself some redstone dust, place it right in front of this torch, wrap it around until you get to the top of the other torch, and there we go. That is one side completed. Now we go ahead and place down some redstone dust in front of this torch, wrap it around here go across the side and then bring up the redstone from the side of this block going on top to the area where the redstone torch is located. Then we could go ahead and place down our iron door, place down two blocks on top of our redstone dust and then grab ourselves some buttons and these buttons are basically going to invert our torches. So this torch on the back is currently on. If you go ahead and now place a button here, hit that button, you can see that this torch turns off and leaves that one turned on. And now the door in turn opens and allows allows us to enter and then we can go ahead and now hit this button turn off that torch and send the power down to this side it will turn on that torch and then close the door so that's basically how the toggle system works it's very simple and you could use this for pretty much any invention as well as toggleable lights but now let's go ahead and now fill in the floor a very important thing to note is that you want to go ahead and place down slabs on this area next to our redstone torches because if you place a block on top of this area it will just create a very nasty um, surprise for you guys so you don't want to do that what you want to do is actually build up the floor like so. And if you guys don't know, slabs basically allow us to have a torch over here without, um, you know, affecting this redstone at the top. Then we could go ahead and just build it across here and then fill in the area. And once we have that, we could just place down any other block that we choose, which is just going to be our quartz block to blend it into the floor. And there you go. That is basically how you would add in the floor. It is pretty simple, guys, and it makes for a really nice doorway. If you guys enjoyed this video, please take one second to smack the like button. I definitely appreciate it. Suggest another Minecraft Pocket Edition video that you would like to see in the future, as well as don't forget to subscribe to see all of my latest videos on your subscription feed. This was Twist, and I'll see you later.